EPA and MDEQ's role during the public hearing is to listen to the comments made. We will not respond to them this evening. However, all comments received at this evening, at this hearing, and in writing during the entire public comment period will be reviewed and addressed in response to the summary. Upon consideration of all comments, EPA will make its decision to maintain, modify, or withdraw its objection to the issuance of a wetlands fill permit for the proposed project. If EPA maintains or modifies its objection, the MDEQ will have 30 days in which to issue a permit that satisfies the objection or deny the permit. After that time, authority to issue a Clean Water Act Section 404 fill permit transfers to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. If EPA withdraws its objection, the MDEQ can issue a permit which would authorize a wetlands fill permit for the project under both state and federal Clean Water Act. At this point, Steve Casey uh, has a couple of comments he wants to make, and then I'm going to go over hearing logistics and ground rules. Thank you. Uh, I want to clarify the DQ's role tonight. This is, as was just described, an EPA public hearing. But the DQ is also reviewing the Marquette County Road Commission application to build County Road 595 under applicable state statutes. We requested that EPA hold this hearing so that both EPA and the DQ would have the benefit of public comment on the EPA objection to issuance of a permit for this project. By requesting this hearing, the DQ also extended the EPA deadline for making a final decision on this application so that both DEQ and EPA will have time to fully consider information that has been submitted by the Road Commission before we have to make a decision on this application. We look forward to hearing from you tonight. Thank you. 